I'm going to feel the love tonight. Come on, Sovereign House. Yeah! 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 Come on, they botched my chatification. Now we're here. How about that? All right, everybody. This is a short play that I adapted from a novel that I wrote that should be coming out at someday if my publisher ever does his fucking job. Nevertheless, it's called Celebutant Rape Therapy. And it goes like this. I can't. I'll need to shut the fuck up behind me. Uh, okay. Ready? Dr. Drew looks at her, almost betraying a kind of sadness. Katrina senses a tenderness. She feels an impulse to suck his dick, swallow his cum, imagining herself doing one of those porno movies where they kiss the tip with a mouthful of jism and just let the cum seep down the cheeks. Well, let's just, uh, let's focus on you. We've, we've struggled to outline the conditions leading up to your, well, I, I don't want to call it a breakdown, but the incident. Do you think we could talk about it some today? I guess we can try. Sure, why not? So you were supposed to speak at a conference on women's rights and sexual abuse. Do you, do you remember feeling more anxious about this seminar than others you'd done like it? I like, I don't know, I used to love doing them. This one though, maybe it was like, like bad timing. I got really bad vibes from it. What do you mean by bad vibes? I mean, there was like a lot going on. Yes, yes, that's what we should be talking about. Well, you're the doctor, Dr. Drew. We're going in circles. Okay, so to circle back, we need to start somewhere. You haven't talked about anything other than, uh, let's see, well, Rihanna and um, your parents. God, don't get me started on my parents. Those fuckers put me in here. Well, you, you don't think they belong here? God, no, Dr. Drew, I mean, fuck. Not many teenagers have been through what I've been through. I'm not allowed to have one bad day. Okay, so let's, okay, so let's, um, let's talk about trauma. You, you've been through a lot. Tra trauma is what defines us, Katerina. It's the key that unlocks the essence of who we are. If we can locate yours, we might be able to start the process of healing. Katrina tears up. She was in love with the doctor, sort of. He was kind, his voice soothing. She wants to thank him, maybe climb on top of him. She wonders how he'd respond to having her tight little pussy gyrate upon his lap. Okay, we'll ask me some questions, I'm ready. <laughs> well, uh, let's start with the event that, from my perspective, seems to have kick-started all this. Uh, the sexual abuse that you were on the receiving end of with this older man, what was it, Elijah? Katrina's face reddens. It's uncomfortable having to relitigate an old lie of hers with a man she respected, maybe loved, but definitely wanted. At least in that moment, Dr. Drew remi even reminded her of the Elijah in question. That's hard to talk about. <laughs> hard to talk about. That seems odd, given that you had no trouble talking about it publicly on social media and um, in interviews. I mean, do, do, do you think it's, um, what, 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 what would the reason be for it being harder to address with me? Her anxiety unshackles itself from the benzos and her heart rate jacks up just a bit. Well, I guess you kind of remind me of Elisha. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's right. <laughs> uh, do, do I um uh, do I come off as um uh, threatening to you sexually no. or otherwise? No, not at all, Doctor yeah. Drew. You're so sweet. You make me feel safe. Doctor Drew can't conceal the smugness in his expression. <laughs> 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 Did Elijah make you feel safe? Even as he was, um, should I put this, harassing you? No. No, 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 like he, he abused me. He abused me, like abused me. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Do you um, <laughs> do you worry that I might abuse you? No, I'm not worried at all. Oh. No, no, I'm not worried at all. Okay. Oh, God. So, just I want to be really clear about this. What exactly is it about me that reminds you of? <laughs> well, <laughs> the, fa the fact that you're older mm. and you have a, a sort of sweetness. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so your um, rapist had a sweetness? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't truly a rapist. Dr. Drew smugly congratulates himself for hitting a nerve. Moments like these were his euphoria, his last addiction. So during your breakdown, you claimed that indeed Elijah never hurt you. I think it was even your, your mother assured me this wasn't true, but I suspected it might be. That begs the question, why did you destroy his life? Katrina feels exposed and naked after weeks of isolation and thousands of milligrams of ego-dissolving drugs. She feels the truth clawing its way to the surface, a kind of physical nausea. She needed to so badly expel the dark energy that she'd been constipated with for almost two years. What, do you think it's appropriate that a man in his 40s had a sexual relationship with a teenager? No, no. God, no, I find that disgusting. <laughs> but I also, uh, I also believe there's a, a wide gap between a relationship that you pursued and rape. I've been raped, Dr. Drew. By this person now called Frederica, yeah? <laughs> so... Here, sweetie, sweetie. Sweetie. I got a lot more right oh, fuck. I've known rape. <laughs> yes, I know. I maybe, know. Just, maybe it just doesn't hurt me like it does the other girls. Dr. Drew feels like he can spontaneously come. Nothing gets him off quite so deliciously as a low-level celebrity in a state of supreme vulnerability. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um. Ooh, what do you mean by that? <clears throat> because the first person who ever raped me was the person I loved more than any other. And who was this? My brother, Samuel. Whoa. <laughs> Dr. Drew's eyes widen and pupils dilate as if he's intravenously injected amphetamine, his whole being wide awake. Okay, so your brother? Uh, oh, oh, shit. Well, that, that was not in my notes. Um, why did you never tell me or, or anyone about this? I wanted to protect him. All we had was each other. Do your parents know about this? They know, but they swore me to secrecy. So why do you think they encouraged you to, um, to, to come forward about this Elijah, but you concealed the truth about your brother? I never really thought about it. <laughs> maybe they felt guilty, or like maybe they, yeah. they thought I deserved some of the recognition. Yes. Like, something good in my life after everything that happened and the accusations against Elijah made me a star. <laughs> and you, you, of course, enjoyed stardom, yeah? I loved the attention. I loved it. I loved it. Right, of course. For a you, while. Right. But did you ever feel remorseful about the fact that you were simultaneously benefiting from this status of victimhood while hiding the very crime that uh, actually victimized you? Well, Dr. Drew, I don't think I did. Uh -huh. Or do. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> so, lying doesn't make you feel um, guilty? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Something funny. Dr. Drew wears the stone sober expression that he's practiced in the mirror every morning for decades. <laughs> We're similar, you and I. Very similar. Very, very similar. You and I. Similar? How? How? 
we benefit from the sad things that happen to other people. Wait a second. I, I take issue with that. I've spent my whole entire life helping people. Mm, I wonder if turning people's traumas and addictions into television shows is the most helpful way to go about this work. Realizing he's underestimated the young girl's intelligence, Drew feels less like a therapist in the moment than a weak man losing a debate. Okay, so we're not here to litigate my career. <laughs> we're here to talk about you. Oh, me? Well, if you insist. So do you mind talking about this encounter you had with this person called Frederica? <laughs> Just hearing the name stirs something in Katrina. <sighs> no, I don't mind. Okay, good. That's progress. So how did you meet this Frederica? Well, <laughs> I met Frederica when she was still named Frederick. A popular activist who I followed online and eventually messaged on Instagram. Right. Oh, right. And um, this Frederica, or, or Frederick, or Frederica. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. Was <laughs> much older than you, yeah? Old enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made it fun. How... How was it fun? Well, okay, Frederick, let's just refer to this person as Frederick for the story's sake. Um, it was someone that I saw through. I think I recognized in him a similar quality to me. And what quality was that? I could just tell that he was like, like me, just trying to make it in the world. Mm -hmm. That he didn't really care all that much about the things he said or spoke about. it made me feel close to him. Did you know that he could be dangerous? Well, maybe not the extent of it, but yeah, I knew he could be dangerous. I know it's, I know it's not healthy for him to self-sabotage by sending me videos of him shooting his own cum into his mouth. Dr. <laughs> Drew blushes. The bluntness of her statement tilts him off center. He feels himself gritting to not betray excitement and lust. <laughs> so, and uh, what, what happened when he visited? <laughs> We fucked Rabbit for about two days. <clears throat> but finally, when we stopped talking, when we stopped fucking, we talked. And when we talked, <laughs> I think that Frederick was stirred by me or something. And it seemed like he was uncomfortable with this feeling. And then he attacked me, raped me. What do you think that feeling was? Oh, um, maybe like, love. <laughs> and perhaps it was that which triggered something violent. Like he wanted to beat the love he felt out of me. It was like, oh, wet and tense. <laughs> that is terrifying. I am so, so, so sorry. Well, it was, it was, it was terrifying what was happening, but of course, yeah. after it left me feeling, I don't know, Seen. Dr. Drew is almost out of cliches. All his experience and all the patients he had seen couldn't prepare him for whatever this was. So why did you not call the police or press charges? You only made these accusations publicly where they could never be proven. I, I mean, I don't, I don't even understand your motivations. Well, the simpler answer would be, I knew the scandal with me and another famous activist would be great for my brands. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite industrious of you. Katrina's feelings towards the man diminish. He now looks smaller and weaker than he did in prior conversations. But I also think that maybe I didn't want Frederick to forget me. I know it sounds a little crazy, but I thought the scandal might bring us together. Oddly, Katrina, I think I understand. He does. He understands the disintegration of boundaries between the public and private spaces that the modern world encourages all too well. But this accusation, it backfired, right? Oh, well, then Frederick came out as transgender, and oh. people bought into it immediately. Oh. I don't know, like, does being a trans woman erase the harm you did as a cis man? Whatever, I guess it does. <laughs> Nothing makes sense except nonsense. It was a brilliant move by Frederica. Let's call her that now, shall we? So, 
Do you question Frederica's trans identity? <laughs> it doesn't matter, Dr. Drew, does it? I mean, she looks kind <laughs> She does, dare I say, look quite cunt. Um, so has your attraction towards her diminished? Oddly, not at all. Oh, how, how so? That's private. But I know that Frederica feels it too. And that she'll come for me. Dr. Drew writes down more notes and when he looks back up, Katrina is on her knees, leaning into his lap. He's shocked, appalled even, but his cock is throbbing. His body at war with his own pantomimed professional ethics, he does not know what to do. I, 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 you know, what, what, Let's just what cut you, to the chase, no. doctor. I suck you off and you get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to. I, I lose my license. Get me out of here, I have please. a very lucrative please, contract of Fox. You're not going to take my phone. No, serious. I said it. Before he can think, the tip of his erect cock oh. is in her mouth. It feels wet, oh. soft. The guilt and shame oh. makes him all the harder. Yeah. He's ready to explode. Get me out of here. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Security. Security. <laughs> Get this oh, disgusting person away from me! Watch out, watch out! Alright. Alright. Time for me to get my fucking character.